All right. We'll call the special board meeting to order. Baby, let's minute show that we have an established quorum, all 100% attending, which is good. And the uh, discussion slash action items are number one, we will attack the uh, baseball, softball, tennis complex. Okay, so I put this back on here just in case you have further thoughts after the last board meeting. We approved, you all approved a, uh, a guaranteed maximum price amendment for the final stage of that project at the last board meeting and of the items presented you approved everything except for a few things. And I have attached uh, in the electronic agenda I've attached some, uh, an attachment that says BB, SB, Tennis, GMP Amendment Phase 2, Package 2. And that's a big, it's a long document. It's actually the amendment that we signed after the last board meeting. But if you go to the very end, second to last page, it has, well, I think it was second to last page. Yeah, last page. Page 11. It is. <clears throat> It is the second to last page. Um, the, there's four things at the top that were excluded from that GMP. It was tennis court lighting at $300,032, pre-engineered metal buildings over the battle cage or batting cage, uh, $149,647. $149, Two shade structures at the tennis court, $66,786 and timers at two of their tennis courts for the lighting so that the uh, community could use it and turn it on and off <clears throat> at $6,229. Those four things are not included currently, and if you all do not want those included still, that's fine, and we don't have to do anything here, and we just move on. Uh, but I put those on there in case there was any other discussion because I wasn't sure that you all had all settled on that. So I was trying to catch up with you when you're naming them. So I see number 10, the two shade structures of tennis. And then... What page are you on? On page 11. Go on down to page 12. The, ah. the, the numbers are at the top of page I 12. I got you, okay. Yeah, I need to... Yes, you, probably, you want to say something? I need to leave now. <laughs> <laughs> now I need to use myself in the conversation since we're part of the bid package. Mm -hmm. so. okay. Good luck. We'll come get you. We'll come get get if I'm snoring, not Take twice. your snacks. <laughs> well, uh, on number 10, on page 11, the two shade structures are still on what looks to be included in what we approved. Was that a mistake? Because that is number 10 on page 11, the two shade structures. Should that have been not on that list. Oh, that's a good question. I'm assuming that just got missed. That got missed. Okay. Uh, actually, I think that is. <clears throat> Is that not part of that? Uh, that's the 1.9 that was original. Never mind. You're right. I think you got me. I guess you got that missed. got missed. But we, you all did ex exclude those yep. right, yep. in your motion. In the meeting. So we'll need to redo that. I just wanted to clarify. Yes. Um, I don't know. I really, my opinion was I wanted Travis to be here um, just to be able to put his. I wanted to put the pressure on Travis. Yeah, make, really. <laughs> make him part of the person to blame. Yeah. Now, but um, <clears throat> the more thought I've put into it, I, I'm still fine. <clears throat> Here's what I would like. Um, I did get some feedback about the shade. I think we all did, and um, I wish we could come up with a solution that didn't cost sixty-six grand. I thought about putting. What would it cost to plant a few 20 foot maple trees there? Um, I don't know if that would work or not. I don't know if it's, if it's man-made turf there. Maybe we couldn't put trees close enough 
to where they want shade. Um, I don't think you're gonna. The terrain is not was is not gonna allow shade to be really close because you're gonna have a bowl effect around it based on the the grade of the property. Okay. And I'm not sure how much shade that would. But there are some options that Jody and I have discussed that we might could work outside of the. You just wouldn't have it in the right walkway on the, court. on the court where people could go and get in some shade without leaving the whole court area. Okay. So let me clarify that. We talked after the fact, and if that is not included, it is my feeling that we need to provide shade for our tennis players in some form or fashion. So part of our landscape, there will be landscaping with this, and there will be some trees planted out there. We have to be really careful <coughs> where we plant them so that we don't have a mess on the artificial turf for the baseball and softball. Uh, but there will be some trees planted. I don't know that they'll be 20 foot uh, to begin with. But I think we could incorporate, we could come behind uh, as a separate project. We could put some shade out there uh, similar to what's, in my mind, it's something similar to what's behind intermediate school right now. If you all have noticed what's behind there. Um, I think we could do that and get them off the court on either side of the courts and provide something. So, to me, I, I felt uh, that that is a need for that group of people in August and September in the heat of the day, and especially if we're not putting lights because then light pra or night practice is <clears throat> uh, So, I think we could probably try to come around and do something separately and figure out a way to provide that in a different way. Right. Okay. I, go ahead. I was just going to ask, are you talking about shading the court no. or sha shading? No. It's, outside the court. It's shade in really some place where the team can get out of the yeah. sun when they get hot. Or yes. when they take a break in between games, they can come into some shade, get a drink of water, and just get out of the, right. the heat. Probably where the coaches will stand during practice, yeah. and the players not on the court will stand. Which I understand that. We, we have a lot of sports that don't have shade. <laughs> so, um, But I, I, I totally understand, and I would want it too. I just don't know if Number one being that it's wasn't part of the original bid, and number two being the amount. Those are probably my two big hang-ups, and that kind of applies to all of these items for me. I do want to add, Eric, yep. so just so you're aware, Jody and I thought it was super important for the shade. Yeah. And so after we already, had, the board had already agreed to work with Mammon. We ask them to put that in, so that's that. we ask them to add this. That's fine. And we really worked through all the different options that they in, went back and forth. But it wasn't they left it out. We never asked for it in that very beginning. Mm -hmm. I'm not against it ever. I just don't know if now is the time. If that clarifies. Okay, so clarify. <laughs> now is not the time. To add shade, is that what you were saying, <clears throat> or you would like to see shade? I'm not. I, my point is, is I I would be very receptive to shade at some point in the future. Yeah. But the fact that this is coming in as part of some items that weren't there originally, and we're having to yeah. be asked to spend more money now, that that's really my thing. So I'm I'm just wondering if then, one option for me might be that we say this is a phase two, and then to clarify what you two were saying. We got together after the meeting and talked about a solution outside of Mammoth, like maybe our in, our our district. We hire it done. We probably couldn't do it ourselves. We, we could, hire it done. We could go out outside outside of this yes. cost. The difference would be it wouldn't the shade wouldn't be at the walkthrough in between the courts right. as it's designed now. It would have to be outside the court system in a grass area. Sure. Okay. I like that idea. Um, I mean, I like to try to get something up. So, like out of the out of the four, I mean that that was one I felt like you know we need to address. Um, and I understand too on timing with lights and well all all three of these. Um, a phase two will be after things are completed. 
and there could be some destruction or construction, you know, around there that, um, I mean, would be impactful to activities getting done, right? So even if we had batting cages and we put up a cover later, it could impact being able to utilize the batting cages for a particular amount of time. But of all of these, putting them in my, this is my opinion, putting a metal building over the batting cages would be the most impactful on the site after the site is completed because it's right in the middle and we would have to have some uh, for, the, for the metal uh, supports, we'd have to have pretty deep footings built or bed and concrete. And so there'd have to be some heavy equipment to get into the middle of the facility. That is the one that I think would be the most uh, beneficial to get done right yeah. while while the, while it's a construction site. It would be the most intrusive, I think, to do later. Right. Okay. Well, let me. And this is just simply <clears throat> for conversation. So I'm totally willing to. I have an open mind about this, but footings could be poured now. Nothing would stop us from pouring footings now. If we knew that was coming later, if we knew we were going to do that in a couple of years, we could do the footings now. And then the PMB, the metal building part, could come at some point later. To, to do the footings now, I, I would assume that we would have Mammoth do that. Mm -hmm. I would have to ask them what that cost, that breakout cost mm -hmm. was, and they would have to get back to me uh, real pretty quick. Would it be like that for lights as well on the tennis courts? There, there would also be some digging for the tennis court lights. Um, I don't know that it would be as a major of a dig. Um, I mean, those supports, obviously, those poles require some footings yeah. as well. But there would be as many, and there would be more spaced out, and there's some on the least in the perimeter. Right. They're outside. <clears throat> they're so part from, part of the outside the fence. Yeah, part of the intrusiveness right, right. would be trying to get back in through the tennis courts by the ball fields. Right. But I mean, I do. I hadn't thought of that. I mean, if it, if, if we could do the fittings now or the, the yeah the, the concrete the concrete work now. I, I I'm going to be honest, and I'm going to plead some ignorance here, <laughs> but. Uh, on a pre-engineered metal building, I would assume that the, found, the, the footings foundation that you put in there is dependent on what the structure is. Well, it totally is. That you'd have the design. You'd have the design today, and you do have the design today, because evidently you have a bid, so you have a design. So you have <clears> a concrete design, and that can be poured. That's poured totally separate of the building, but it does dictate the engineering of the building by how the concrete is poured. So we would have that. I mean, that would be... And again, if if we all decide that let's just go ahead and do it all and we're getting too finicky with stuff, I do sense that a little bit, um, but I also want to make sure that we're taking in context that we've spent a bunch of money already. And at some point, you just have to say, maybe this, this stuff comes later. <clears throat> Well, I'm 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 a little torn about this because I feel like some of my decision could change depending on how we vote on the budget. Okay. So I don't know if it's appropriate, but I would prefer to talk about the budget and then come back to the tennis, baseball, softball complex, just because. Again, depending on what we decide on the budget, might change my mind about okay. Well, what are we working with here? You know, do we do we have the funds to go ahead and do it all, just part of it? Does that make sense? Am I missing anything? That's just my thought. So that's up to you all. If you all would like to move that item to the end of the agenda, oh, I guess are you good? Yeah. I, I haven't gotten to say my two cents yet, so I, I, <laughs> well, speak I, up. Then. <laughs> yes, I plan to. Uh, um, the uh, batting cage, I say, is number one, and then the lights is number two, and the shades number three, and 
my feeling is on the shade structure that was presented that I am not happy with that at all. But if we're going to spend, <clears throat> what is it, total package, six, seven million dollars, that we put some kind of square rectangular metal thing in the middle of the tennis courts. For me, that's not aesthetically pleasing in that to spend that kind of money and then have something stuck in the middle of that. So I think, in my opinion, is we scratch this, the shade structures and then we revisit that for next year or something, or we figure it out internally or externally. We go somewhere besides Mamba. Well, I was just going to say that, like, if if we could agree at least on the shade structure, potentially see what kind of solve Shane and Jody could come up with, yeah. and remove that from this discussion, and it might That's be a better I solution. Think. Just not we'll just take the shade structure off of this, and keep it uh, lighting and batting cages, and then talk school, and then see where we are. So. That sounds good. Sounds good to me. Okay. Is that? Right, I mean, so, so that's you. Good. You two feel good about a possible solution? I know so it's going to cost. I know it's going to cost money. Of we're going to figure. But we're going. I mean, we'll figure it out. Like we always yeah. do. I yeah. guess my problem, I guess, with that was the picture of it. It just to me, it just didn't fit. Yeah. It just you know it just didn't fit, and I think. You know, it may be next year before we could do something like that. And I've been brainstorming ever since the meeting. And it could be that we, you know, for sixty-six thousand, sixty-seven thousand dollars, we could buy a whole lot of those little pole tents <laughs> and some way weight them down. You know, and maybe that's what we do the first year. But that's, in my vision, that's kind of what I'm seeing is some kind of tent structure. Well, they, they've got something. those mesh stretch. Yeah, well, that's what that. Them. So that's what that they're is. Fabric. Yeah, that's fabric. not a metal roof. Well, it just so like you. No, sir. We, it's actually a mesh. We will, shade structure. We will but come we, back to you at some point with some solutions. We'll come. I we, think, we can do it. Yeah. And I think we're all a little uneasy. So Brian's mentioned a couple of times next year. Do we think we could try to figure out a solution for this year? Well, this year in tennis is right now. So next right. year in Venice is true. next August. So we but, would have some time between the end of the project and August to try to figure something okay. out and figure a way to pay for it. But by summer next year, yeah. by the time there. That would be my hope if the yeah. board willing. Yeah. Well, or it could be that, that what we figure out is something that we have to push maybe another year in the budget. But there's something and but there is some kind yes. of temporary fix that we we can do that. So, and we need honestly, if we're going to do something outside of what is in the plan, we need that site to be done. Mm -hmm. right. So then we know exactly what we're dealing with right. on how to do it. Does that feel good with that? Okay. And then we'll move lighting, batting cages till after budget talk. That's good. Okay. Well, I think you might need to take a motion to table that until later in the agenda. We well, probably do. <clears throat> I make a motion to table that. Second. Later in the agenda. <laughs> we have a second? Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. We can get Grant. Okay. So when Grant comes back in, we can talk about budget. Okay. But since he's recused himself from this part, try to avoid having a conversation about this part. Yep. If that makes okay. sense. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What code word can we use? <laughs> bing bong police. When I say bing bong, that means Bosco. <laughs> Bosco. <laughs> Shade structure. Yeah. So, Grant, the discussion has been on the other issue that we just finished has been tabled until later in the agenda. Okay. So, we are going to talk about budget now. All right. Mm -hmm. Mr. Lamb, would you like right, to carry to present, or would you like to do questions? What would you like well, to do? Well, <clears throat> it's up to the pleasure of the board. 
um, I think maybe Terry maybe you could just give an overview and then I don't know do you guys want to go page by page on the there's what how many pages do we have um, basically what six eight eight pages and then maybe no it's still going there's 16 there's 16. 16 pages maybe just give an overview and I think maybe we go to we just do it by page start with page one if there's questions because I think that would be better than jumping from a question on page one and we go to page 16 in which we can do it but and then when we get in page four or five, there may be a question back that relates back to page one. So I'd say just kind of go in order, and then if we need to kick back out and go somewhere, we can. So, okay. You want me to lead the discussion, or do you want the uh, discussion to just happen? Well, I think maybe you should. Why don't you give us an overview, a brief overview of how you arrive at the numbers? <laughs> Arriving at this budget actually has, it actually contains about 40 some odd other budgets in, into this. This budget that you all vote on doesn't include all of the funds that we have coming into our district. These are the ones that we have say over, these are the ones that we can direct. Um, our federal funds have specific rules that we have to go by. And that's why they're not in this um, board packet. This is why we don't talk about those. We don't really deal with food service because it's got its own set of standards. And so th just know that this isn't everything, but <clears throat> we do have other funds. As the budget stands now, we have budgeted a loss of $1.3 million. In the past few years, we have tried to budget to have a balanced budget. Um, this year, we took a different approach just based upon projects going on, things that we had sitting on the table. Um, and so for those projects, we kind of planned for the worst. Um, we are looking to take down our ending fund balance by a million three. And that's, that's a carryover. And simply what carryover means is this is the amount of money we have carried over from the last year. You hear that term thrown out there quite a bit, but um, nobody ever really knows what it is. But we are limited to the amount of money we can carry over without a plan into the next school year, and that happens to be 20% of the current year revenue. So it's a constant moving target until we close the year, because it is based upon the amount of revenue you've received. 20% of revenue. Yes. So um, do you all have any questions on the front page? <clears throat> so let me clarify. You can. So in layman's terms, our carryovers are savings accounts. And in effect, it is what was carried over from the previous year, but it's our savings account for all time. So it's not like we had that $6.8 million in the middle of the yellow down there. It's not like we saved $6.8 million last year. Uh, that money actually was less than the previous year because we went down. Uh, the number right above it was 7.8. We had 7.8 in carryover the year before. So we actually decreased a little bit last year. We knew that though because we moved money into the building fund. And then we're projecting to go down another million three this year. Now, does that mean we're gonna finish the year a million three less at 5.5 if everything goes as projected in the budget? Yes. Um, if we have good revenue year and save money on expenses, no, we're gonna have a little bit more money to put back in there, if that makes sense. So the amount we moved last year was how much? We made three and a half million dollars last year. <clears throat> and the proposed budget <clears throat> reflects 
the number one discussion money, correct? The million three mm -hmm. reflects one million dollars moved to the building fund out of this year's budget to cover all of the extra costs as presented before you all excluded those four things. Mm -hmm. So if we come back and we still exclude those four things, that's about five hundred and something thousand dollars that we would deduct off the deduct. Mm -hmm. We would take off of that one point three, right. and it would be eight hundred thousand somewhere in that neighborhood. It would be a loss, just not as large. Right. Last year, at this time, what uh, I should know this, but what did our budget show when we went in this time last year? Were we were we showing, or was it was it a balanced? It was much? balanced. It wasn't showing a loss like no, we sir. are, and like we had. Correct. Right. Mm -hmm. It but, was balanced last year, but during the year, as the quotes came in yeah. for the project, you all moved the money. Moved dollars. money. Okay. And so we're just talking about doing that ahead of time. Ahead of time now. Yes. Rough, roughly the same amount ish. Right. Moving into moved the building fund? Moved, we've moved a million, and this year we're talking. If we're Last moving, year we've moved three and a half. Or three and a half, million. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. This year we're looking to move a million. Okay. And still be 1.3 in the red. Mm -hmm. at, right now. Mm -hmm. For the year. For, For the, the year. year. For the year. Yes, sir. But there's a lot of factors that. Always. That flow as the year progresses. Always. That it, it could should be better. But it could be worse. It but, could be worse, but we but no. hope that it's right. better. Right. Okay. And Terry, the so the big difference between this year or last year and then this upcoming year is the revenue over the one point three. And you said that does include the changes to that we were discussing earlier. You made when I made this budget. It was before you all had decided to pull things mm -hmm. out, and so it was a, it was, so it was an additional closed, million dollars. So I just left it standing. This is worst case. If, yeah. if you approve it all, this is this is what it will look like. Gotcha. If you do something different, it could be less. Gotcha. There's but, something like the video monitors and stuff like that is not in here. If we have to replace that, that would be. Terry doesn't know anything about the video. I know nothing so about the video we monitors. We were trying to find ways to pay that out of technology or maintenance. At, at, the budget. Of it's the budget, budget numbers that are in okay. there, we would try to use the budgets that are available gotcha. to us that we already have. And if we did, here's the, here's the, <laughs> if we ever have something come up that is, that we don't have the money for in the budget and we can't figure out how to pay for it in the budget, then we would come back to you all because we still have that savings account. Right. You all would just make an amendment to the budget at some point during the year to help out. So mm -hmm. that's the purpose of having that carryover or that savings account is to take care of, well, those unforeseen unforeseen circumstances or unforeseen that we can't adjust in our budgets. But also to help build things that you want to build at some point that you don't want to get go back to the voters for a millage increase on. So that's how we've been able, over the years out of that carryover, I'm going to miss some things. But we have completely renovated this building after we moved into the high school. Eight million dollars here. Okay. Built we, the high school. We built the high school, that was a millage increase. Right. But this was not figured into that. So, so between the savings at the high school and the carryover, we put eight million dollars into this building. Okay, that was without a military. All right, after that, we have done uh, air conditioner replacements at North Side, at South Side, windows at South Side. We have built a uh, freezer storage uh, building at maintenance. We have built a cast building. We have built a stadium. We have renovated a track. We have library at Northside. Added a library at Northside. We've added four pre-K classrooms at Northside. Administrative complex. Building an administrative complex and now baseball softball. And Northside administrative complex. Yeah. And Northside administrative complex. So all of those things since 2012, 
we have done out of our carryover without having to go back to our voters for a millage increase. Yeah, and replace two walls at the intermediate. Yeah. And replace the <laughs> well, yeah. That was insurance. Insurance. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so that is a way that savings, just like your savings account at home, you use it to do improvements and then you use it for emergencies. And that's what we do. So if it comes up something in the middle of a year that we can't handle in our budget, we come back to you and ask basically to take some out of savings. Or bonuses can come out of that too. I was right. just going to. It could. Yes. Because right, currently there's nothing in the budget for that. Correct. For bonuses. Correct. Okay. And let me explain why. Last year we did not have anything right. planned for bonuses either. And then we grew 150 kids uh, the first day. And so when we got to November, we realized we were going to get a lot of growth money. Because if you grow, you get money during the course of the year. Okay, we figured out how much that was going to be, and anticipated, and we gave a bonus in December basically to use that really close to that amount of money. And then with the Learns Act in the spring, Learns Act cost us well, Learns Act gave us 1.4 million dollars to put into salaries, certified salaries. What we were required to do actually cost us 1.9 million dollars for this year. And then on the first page that you all had that had bullet points, Terry mentioned in here, between certified and classified, we added over $3 million into salaries and benefits this year, above what we paid last year. That's the first bullet under itemized revenue and expenditure pages. So, Learns Act gave us $1.4 million, but the raises that you all worked with us to give last spring for this year actually cost us $3 million. So we put a million, almost a million six of district funds into that. It's closer to four. It's closer to four. We'll split the difference. Three and a half. Oh, wait. <laughs> I, just, I was looking at your three million five fifty. I understand that. I did some figuring today. Okay. So that's where. This year, we didn't feel like going into the budget. We didn't feel like we had money in the budget to factor in bonuses. But I also thought we would grow. I thought we would grow maybe not 150. I thought we might be around 100. Turns out we were around 20 to 30. And so, so we will get some flat. additional money, but not nearly as much. Uh, so you're going to say, so where did that money come from? Well, that was the money that we moved into the building fund last year that we have allocated differently this year now it's going towards salaries mm -hmm. rather than towards the building fund and those funds will all forever and ever we've got to, we've got that as an expense forever yeah. so it's not a one-time expense it's an additional three and a half million dollars going forward mm -hmm. that we are only getting 1.4 returned from the state and so, if you look, it's hard to see, but that's where it, that's where it hit. So, outside of <coughs> potential bonuses, would be extra. Do we foresee? And I know we can't foresee anything, but um, like we think we'll be able to take care of monitors. We might not need to. We don't know. I mean, foresee. We could potentially need to come back and ask. I, I would not anticipate that okay. unless something out of the order. Yeah, and not to dwell on that, but that's just a, as an example. I mean, we don't, we're not foreseeing anything, right? No. So we didn't have to do that. So if you'll remember back, we had the two accidents yeah. that were between the two of them were over $200,000 in repair. It did on insurance, but we had to pay it up front. Right. It took us 10 months to get our insurance money. So we basically paid for it out of that year and then got reimbursed after that. And it was over two school years that yeah. we got it back yeah yeah and then we you know we still have some money from this lot we still haven't been paid by the insurance company from last year's freeze we're still waiting on that check too uh which is i think it's around it's gonna be around 30 or forty thousand dollars but we didn't come to y'all and ask that <clears throat> right. we were able to figure out how to do things in our within our budgets and we put a few things off that could wait that we were planning to do until we got that money back. So 
I do not anticipate those video boards being as something we would come back to you guys and ask if we need to get into our savings account to pay for. So a lot of our a lot of our expenses we really know. Yeah. I mean seventy percent, maybe upwards of seventy percent of our expenses are salary and benefits. We can predict those mm -hmm. pretty dang close, pretty close. right now, mm -hmm. yeah. depending on how many teachers are out for an extended period of time and how many subs. But we can get really, really close to that. Um, where we, our curriculum budget was pretty set. Uh, we met, had meetings all summer. We know what we're ordering. It's pretty set. We built a little bit of uh, extra in there for things that come up in the year. You know, electricity, gas, and not so much water, but electricity <clears throat> and gas, as far as utilities, we just have to go off of what we've done the last several years and make a guess. And we try to make a guess so that we have a little bit of room in case we have a really bad winter or in place, case we have a really bad summer. What about the two accidents? What was the dollar amount of what we had to float on the two it's accidents over, you were talking about? It's over 200000 oh, okay. That's me. I was going to say, is that was that going to threaten our emergency fund? Okay. No, that was a couple of years ago. No, it, it, we never even thought about getting into that. Okay. We covered it out of our... Uh, district maintenance budget. Terry, there was one more comment you made at last week's school board meeting that our income for the past month was, you, you were worried that it was down. Yes. Could you, are you still worried about that or what? I Give worry me more. about that every day. <laughs> so yes, I well, am still worried about, about that. that. Explain that to me. I worry, I, I worry about it because it's, it's, I have absolutely no control over that. No one in this room has control over that. It's when people pay their property Well, tax. we have a little control when we pay. Personally. Well, you control mm -hmm. when you pay it. But Is it your hey, waiting on, Brian? Yeah, it's Brian. <laughs> Get out the newspaper and with, after My taxes are due. But um, it is so unpredictable. I can tell you what months we will get the largest deposits, but I can't tell you based on any kind of formula that oh we're going to get about 20% of what we project for the whole year in this month because it's just all over the place and again it is based upon the public's timing of when they pay their taxes I guess my question is is that something we should worry about is that a concern I mean I, we're I'm trusting you to if I worry enough for everybody <laughs> I promise I promise so we are guaranteed 98% okay. of what we're supposed to collect. Mm -hmm. okay. But and, we don't and, receive that until June. Yeah. And we normally, more years than not, we actually get more than 98%. <clears throat> so I may be wrong. Terry's shaking her head no. Okay. But if we don't get 98% of the state supplements, us, on the other hand, if we get more than 98%, we have to give it back. The state back. What it fluctuates on is if times are tough and people skip their taxes this year, and, and that's a that happens mm -hmm. across a wide variety of, of households, then that affects us. Yeah. Um, then it may come back to us two years, three years down the road on when they're paying their back taxes. It'll, so come, budget, it'll come into us as delinquent taxes and things like that. Is our budget planning for 98? Percent, or Always. is it planning for a hundred percent? You don't. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, but it's only on the first twenty-five mils. It's not on the last nineteen. Hmm. We're only guaranteed ninety-eight percent of the first twenty-five mils. We have nineteen other ones hanging out there that aren't guaranteed at all. So, so I gave a brief uh, school finance lesson to the people who came to the Ask Me Anything session at back to school. So in 2002, when there was a Lakeview versus the state of Arkansas case, they came up with 25 mills as a standard across the state. Everybody has to have 25 mills in millage. And some school districts at the time did not. So they set that as the standard. And if everybody's gonna have 25 mills, then everybody is gonna get the same amount of payment, the same amount of dollars from the state based on per child. So that's roughly $7,700 right now per child. 
So everybody pays all the 25 mills, the first 25 mills all goes to the state. And then the state disperses out $7,700 or whatever that number is this year for every student in every school district across the state. They only dish out the part that the, that the local funds can't well, they, fund. They dish out 98% of it yeah. eventually. Um, so anything you have above and beyond 25 mills starting in 2002, any, anything that is above and beyond that is a millage that your local voters pass for the purpose of building something. Okay, and let, now there could be other dedicated mills. The voters could pass uh, a mill for technology, perhaps, but all of ours is debt for buildings, and so that. 19 mills, 19.9 mills above 25 for us has all been passed by the voters for the purpose of debt. Um, we are not guaranteed anything on that. So we just get what comes in. So if we have a bad year, that, that part suffers. Um, over the years, this goes to salary a little bit because this was a direct question that came at the last meeting session. Over the years, as we have consolidated loans or refinanced um, bonds for us, not loans, uh, that debt payment gets smaller, just like if you write refinance your house. And so what used to be a $1,500 payment a month for you for your house, all of a sudden, when rates are better, might become $1,000 a month. And suddenly you have $500 extra each month to play with. Well, that's what happens to school districts as well. So over a period of time, we are not spending all of that 19.9 on debt anymore. And that money becomes free for us to use for a variety of things. Most of it is going into salaries at this point because we could not afford to pay the salaries we are paying at 25 mills. Okay. So how that affects us with comparison to other districts the same is true for Rogers, Springdale, Fayetteville, Benville. And so they, just like we have, have refinanced over the years. So all of that excess debt millage that no longer has to be spent on debt, they can put toward other things. Well, another factor playing into that is if your community is growing and your tax base is growing, then that gives you even more money. So 20 mils extra here is much different than 20 mils extra in Bentonville because their 20 mils is raising proportionally a whole lot more than ours because they have so much business in there. And that business is personal is property taxes, if that makes sense. I was way deep in the weeds there. Yeah, Sorry. That's good. No. We're all just soaking it out, joking. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to go that deep. I'm sorry. No, that was good. I was impressed. I it appreciate doesn't it. hurt to hear that. Uh, I was impressed. Yeah. So I, I've got a question, and I'm starting to jump around. So I know we're okay. thinking of going page by page, but I'm seeing it here go for it. as we're talking through. So thinking next year, so we're thinking if potentially we might have 1.3, right? Mm -hmm. So. Next year, when I look at a, a big cost, is the uh, adoption of new curriculum three hundred thousand. We won't necessarily have that ne next year. Correct. Right. Unless there are years they unless adopt, you decide they, to say they adopt new. The state it. adopts new curriculum every, every year. year. It and just it so happened time. they did it for three subjects this year instead of one. It, it and could so it be hit substantially less than that. Yeah. It, it hit could, the whole not. state. Yeah because it's time for social studies to be adopted and we're behind on what the state's timeline of adopting that. This year was science. Historically, science and math have been more expensive than language arts yes. and social studies. Well, <laughs> I, I would like to talk <laughs> curriculum some other time, just how long we're Feels like we change often. And a lot of that's, I mean, I'm kid, I know, I know it's state dictated by the it's state. state I know. Yeah. But I have questions like, do we have to do that just because they're saying it, or is that a recommendation versus so? Anyway, that's different. 
So, yeah, maybe not that much, but there will still be some mm -hmm. curriculum cost. I will also say, predicting revenues, if it was as easy as taking what our assessed value is this year and taking 98% of it, it, it would be nice. Oh, yeah. But we're actually dealing with two different <clears throat> tax years as well. So what we're collect, what's being collected by the county this fall that we're getting is the 2022 taxes. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. And then when we hit January, any collections that we get in January through June will be the 2023 taxes that people are paying early. So we get an estimate for 22 tax base assessment value for our school district that we can work off of. But what the 23 assessment value is for next January through June is kind of up in the air because we don't know all the property that has been declared this year. And we won't until the county tells us and they do that in January, in January February. So but we, kinda, we can't even count on that money till the next school yeah, year. Exactly. That's 24, 25. Right. So Terry has to figure kind of two separate years and one of them is a little bit murky. It's not just split in half, nice and clean. Oh gosh, no. And that's that's the challenge of having a school year that's six months different than town government year. But you know, as we're looking at revenue, I have jumped over to the monthly expenses to where it's broken out. It's like page nine, I believe. It's not in general, this is by line. You can see that we're projecting almost three million more dollars next year into our budget. And so, um, I don't have them marked like you guys do. I have my spreadsheets. Yes, it's that page. What page is that? Page nine. It's easier to see, to me, on page nine, mm -hmm. where we think we're going to get the increases and decreases based on prior year, what we actually got versus what we're budgeting this year. And so we're actually budgeting, in total, almost $3 million more in revenue. But on the flip side, we're budgeting $4 million more in expenses. And a lot of that, the bulk of that, is actually salaries and benefits, right. other than the transfer to the building fund. Um, last year, we had a bonus that was paid out, but that was after the, that was after the budget was discussed. That was not in the original budget. The bonus was not last year. Right. Um, it was also it came from the growth funds. It did come from the growth funds. So we just knew what we were getting in. So <coughs> all the new little houses I'm seeing in town, mm -hmm. we got thirty new students. Is that what you're saying? We didn't get thirty. Yeah. Twenty yeah. to thirty. So this year's kind of strange. I they measure it at the end of each nine weeks. And those are the official measurements. So historically. We have put together numbers on the very first day through the first 10 days. And that is historically comparing year to year, first day to first day, 10th day to 10th day. We've been able to get a pretty good idea of what we're going to grow at the end of the first nine weeks, at the end of say nine weeks. This year may be a little strange because since we quit keep taking those attendance measurements after labor, right after Labor Day, we've actually increased another 15 to 20 kids above that. So it was about 20 to 25 in those first 10 days. Now, we may be at 40 now. I don't know. Most years we do not increase during the course of the year. This year so far we are. So I don't know what to take from that. A negative this year, our kindergarten class is the smallest kindergarten class we've had in multiple years. Maybe five, six, seven years. We are down around 311 to 312 was the last I looked. Uh, last year we were at 340. So we're down about 30 kids in kindergarten, which is a little scary to me because as they move through, that class will be a lot smaller than everybody else. 
And if we have another kindergarten class next year that is small, one year's an anomaly, two years may be a trend. And if we start trending lower in those lower grades, then that means at some point, instead of growing, we're gonna start going that direction. So that's a little scary to me, but it's only one year of data. And we have no way of knowing. There's no way for us to find out how many 40 year olds there are in this in the district. So, you know, just my take on the budget and where we're at is, you know, I don't need to go line item by line item or anything. I trust y'all and what y'all do. It's the only, and typically every year y'all came to us for the last four or five years and said, hey, it's y'all's idea, you gave us credit for it, but came in, coming up with a bonus for every year. And mm -hmm. I just, you know, on this and knowing exactly what you just said, down years plus the added stuff, we're spending a lot on the buildings and everything else, and then the change orders coming up, that's just where I got to saying, you know, the perception I, I definitely don't want to turn around and say we don't have anything this year. That's all I want to talk about on the budget really is make sure that we're balancing that between what we have, what we're worried about, new, you know, running tighter than we usually do, not knowing numbers are a little lower than normal, could be a trend, could not be, but also send a message that Hey, yes, we know we're spending all this. Typically, y'all do that all throughout the year. I just want to make sure, you know, that's the message we're sending. That's the only thing I care about on the, not the only thing, but you know, is the line items, let's trust y'all, y'all have that. Yeah, I don't know everything you have to spend. The maintenance budget is huge, but I know there's a lot to take care of. So, you know, I don't think, and you took out buses, all that stuff. That's the main thing I'm looking at is, okay, what's important to the district, what's it look like, and how can we make sure we let everyone know they're important to, which I know we've done in salaries and stuff, but we're also, we've done more in there, we're also doing a lot more over here, so, you know, just try and keep that balance. And in I, the long run. If I can follow up, because it makes me think of whenever I look at it now, it's not hugely different than years past. We're just looking at adding some funds earlier than maybe we have, right? So maybe you've come to us in November and said, hey, we need to add whatever. This year, it just looks a little funky to me. Because we know ahead of time. Because we know a little bit ahead of time that we want to finish these projects. We want to move over some money to go ahead and do that. And we're doing it now during budget time. And it feels maybe weirder than it would if you guys came to us in October and said, Hey, can we add some funds after something's been decided? So um, there's that. Well, a lot and of then... years, there were years where, um, because we were saving for projects in the building right. fund, um, we would just at the beginning of the year go, if we have the money, we're going to move 1.5. Mm -hmm. We're going to move half a million. Exactly. We're going to, we had that budgeted and then when the 20% carryover thing came into effect, we kind of abandoned that because whatever you have in your carryover, over 20% must be transferred into the building fund. Um, in theory, it's because everybody has projects coming up. You can't just let it sit in yeah. the building fund and not have some way or reason of how you're going to spend that. Yeah. I mean, that's why we've always got building projects ahead. So yeah. it's like, okay, this is the next one we're saving for. We yeah. have to send that to the state. So you can't just move it from one savings account to another without having a plan on how you're yeah. going to spend that in the building fund. Yeah. And, and so I think that with that information and just the timing feels a little bit different. But I also want to make sure that, and I Grant alluded to it a little bit with other teachers, salary people, you know, or, or employers of our district, um, that, you know, I want to make sure that we still look um, bonus time, whatever. We want to see if, what we can do and make sure. Trust me, it's in and, my best and, interest to find money. Yeah, I get one sure. too. When everybody exactly. else gets one, I get one too. And, and even future 
you know, we've talked about how do we get people here, how do we keep them here, you know, what is that plan going forward to? So let me maybe cut to the chase on the budget. Is there anything that you all want to discuss from a budget perspective other than giving a bonus or not giving a bonus? I have already emailed Terry on my questions, so I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so our conversation then is around a bonus. Currently, it is not built in. Right. Well, before we go to that, I want—I okay. just Sorry. want to make a point in expenses. And while we're talking about salaries and stuff, if my math's right, I had just added this up a second ago. But this year's we're budgeting three. Terry, you correct me if I'm off a little. But for salaries, certified and classified, our budget. This year is three million and change over last year, and that kicks in. And you know that's Learns Act, and then what we did above and beyond Learns Act, and then that kicks in all the Social Security, Medicare, teacher oh, retirement. Yeah. When salaries that. go up, right. everything yeah. else so, goes up. And I added that up, and that's that's uh, one point one million. So you add those two together, and that's pushing 4.25 million mm -hmm. in just yes. salaries. That's where you got four million. Salaries yeah, and benefits. Million. Yeah, yes, salaries sir. Benefits. That doesn't account for cost of subs. No, it has that's nothing just to do. That's just right. what's in our salary schedule and our benefits right. package. Well, I just think that I'll be noted where we are. <clears> and then we're getting out of that. We're, we're getting what the one point we get one point four back one point four back from the state. Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty big board. That's yes. So now y'all understand why I was choking. Right. right. So I just I just wanted to, you know, we talk about expenses and talk about that and this and that. I just thought I just wanted to make sure I was on track with yes, that sir, in you the are. right direction. Okay. So Okay, and I will, I'm going to add to that, just, just, just a <laughs> sidebar, but we mentioned last year, last spring, when we were trying to put that salary together, a salary schedule together for our certified and trying to put something classified, that a lot of school districts were not doing a salary schedule at all. They were just doing what the state required on the 50,000 and teachers in advanced years or, or more years were not getting anything beyond that. So while we were at our board training last Thursday, Amy and Shane sat in on the superintendents and, and from what they told me, there was a whole lot of conversation that day among superintendents across the state about now all of them are trying to figure out what to do with the salary schedule and they can't figure out how to do it because they don't have enough money. So I told you last spring we were in a fortunate situation that we could do something and we did. And uh, there are a lot of school districts that are struggling with that right now. That's just a sidebar. And we were fortunate. Do what? We were fortunate. Yes, just because we were. Of the way we we, because we of the way we budgeted and done all this. The and we also past. provided for our classified staff, yes, exactly. which is not exactly. in the Learns Act. And a lot of right. school districts didn't change their stuff for classified staff. So I want that to be not only did we take care of our certified staff, but our custodians and bus drivers and cafeteria workers, everybody got. Right, and, and that's a pretty good raise last year. Yes. A couple items before we move beyond budget, and this is just, um, and I appreciate Grant said I don't want to go line through line, and I don't want to, but if I was if I was treating this like my personal budget, mm -hmm. I would, I would just look out, I would look for anything that stood looks out, odd. looks mm -hmm. odd, looks weird. So again, this is clarify, this is not questioning the need for it or right. anything. I'm sure there's uh, definitely, but um, two mm -hmm. items that seem to the change seemed to be a big percentage of what their budget was from mm -hmm. last year to this year um, special education and, and sped director um, 836,000 up from last year for the special education and 200 grand when the budget was 228 last year so um, just want to kind of call those out and say is there do we know is that a trend? Is that something that have we been waiting to make those changes for a long time or? Some of it has to do with the way that we are coding staff. Oh. 
that we made some changes to how we are coding our staff, and that is based upon how much federal funds we anticipate receiving. So some of those people that may have been paid out of a title fund, this year we simply don't have enough money to pay for those people I see. out of that fund. Or hmm. in previous years, we anticipated, you know, we paid for more speech therapy out of a federal fund. But this year, because of our federal funding, we're having to pick up those expenses in our district budget. Okay. It's a, it's a shell game every year. And, you know, as I can, I move it out of the district and back into yeah. the federal funds. But I never know that until May or June, yeah. what I can push over there. And just to call it out, I mean, we're spending a lot of time talking about spending 800 and almost $900,000. And mm -hmm. right there in special education, 836 mm -hmm. <laughs> grand up. And I just think... Um, and that's total, not total over what we that, budget. That's over what we actually spent. So last year, I was probably able to move quite a bit of money out of the district expenses okay. into because I watch the trends every year. Are we when I see things like that? Because I'm like, what did I do? I, yeah. I always figure I coded something. Wrong. <laughs> uh, but if we budgeted last year similarly, okay, I know that federal funds probably had a lot to do with that um, because we base most everything off of a three-year trend mm -hmm. and so was a similar the SPED director not to get nitpicky but you know mm -hmm. that um, just the quick math it's like an 84 percent growth in that one line item was that kind of a similar can you tell me what, uh, which yeah, line I count the pages here Page numbers would be really nice here. Well, Two, yeah. three, four. I think it's five. He's on page five, about halfway down. Yeah, about three quarters of the way down. Again, not questioning mm -hmm. the need for it, but that's just a big jump. So one thing was bad, and that's over. I don't yeah, know this, so Terry, tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. Not. But we apply for some money at the end of the year. Oh, okay. That when we get, if we get, the money, yeah. then it takes the place of something that's already spent. Gotcha. Uh, those are catastrophic funds, mm -hmm. and we make an, a catastrophic application each year, and I don't know how much we've got or if that figures in. But we never know until June. I mean, we just okay. we can't predict it, and it's based upon how much everybody else in the state. But do we they know have, how much we got last year? Yes, we got 200 and... Sean, yeah, do you know yeah, how much we got last year? It's over there. Go over here. She said June. I know. Oh, she said January. We'll know that till January. June, I think. June. Yeah, we get it in June. June, okay. 280 something. So, do we do we do we recalculate? Do we redistribute those funds? Mm -hmm. So, those funds take care of something that we've already spent out of the budget. We don't know that we're getting mm -hmm. that until the end of the year. Okay. So, that's a so again, this is back to Terry playing worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. right. And I have budgeted for some catastrophic funding. Some years we get more, and we really like that. And then some years we get less. The other thing, Eric, on that, I will say this Amy, you know, just talking is we are, our SPED numbers are up, uh, which means our personnel are up. We have more aides than we've ever had to have. So, and when you start talking personnel, that adds up quick. When you start talking about forty thousand dollars or whatever we, whatever the total bill is for a paraprofessional, not not to mention the teachers, but just the parents that it takes. So that adds up really quick, and our numbers are up significantly. Can I add something? Sure. Um, and I'm just going to think a couple things. Not only are our spend numbers up. The severity of the needs are much greater than what we've ever had. And also, um, when we talk about the catastrophic application that we do, we don't ever know how much we're going to get back. Medicaid, we never know how much we're going to get back. Back our Mac, we never know how much. It's all like not gamble, but we just don't. I basically do a three-year average. Okay. Yeah. One one thing I would hope that happens because. If we do another 84% up next year, I mean, it's concerning that our numbers aren't really up, but our need is really up. So, so our numbers are up. Mm -hmm. 
Our numbers are up. Not that much. Not, but they're not up $800,000, but our need is. Well, yeah. So I guess what I'm wondering is, were we way behind, were we way understaffed last year? And it, it, we had a true 84% growth in need for SPED from last year to this year. Like, are we catching up from being behind? Because otherwise, I would hope that we have an 80%, 84% growth from last year to this year. And then this year to next year, I would hope that to be a little bit more reasonable than what our growth would be. Does that question make sense, or does that sound logical? And last, last week, we weren't able to take some in, right? Right. Because right. of this. And you so guys voted to sure. add three new positions. Your, your question does make sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, I think some of the expenses, I think the budget was quite a bit more than what you're seeing there last year. Gotcha. That's what we spent. It was a bigger number, and then we, we got spent, some we funding, allocate, we got and then to we got some, move it. some money to reallocate some gotcha. expenses. So instead of okay. that expense that makes me going so much there, mm -hmm. it went someplace else that, at the end of the year. That's perfectly so think, logical. <clears throat> okay. I think the budgeted amount last year would not be nearly okay. that small. If I was looking at this paper last year, it probably yes. was relatively close mm -hmm. to that mm -hmm. bigger yeah. number. Okay. That that's perfectly satisfies me, so that's good. Okay, any other comments about budget other than bonus? Okay, so it sounded like some of you want to talk about a bonus because currently it is not built in. Yep. <clears throat> Okay, I'm, I'm being quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll start and uh, say I think if, I think uh, that we do all we can in the form of a bonus like Christmas bonus, one-time bonus, whatever, whatever you want to call it, and I think that'll end up being tied as it always has been before tied to our growth funding and and seeing how we're flowing as the year progresses to generally generally in December isn't that Christmas isn't that what we try to do mm -hmm. and and then I would say that's very important I think it's important we're all on board with that on board I think we really need to work toward that and then on the retention side of, of the, the things that are trying to come up with all that, I think my personal, this is my personal opinion on that, I think Jody, you're on the right track taking it to the PPC. Let's get input, let's get input from all the teachers and see what their feelings are and then try to work it into next spring and then if they adopt and then if we adopt something like that at the salary time get it into the budget for the next year to start next 24 20 right right that's where i'm at so i have a question for clarification have we ever put a christmas bonus in the budget yes yes okay. when we there have been times when we knew that we had a we had some excess mm -hmm and that we were going to be really good this coming year and we put money in. Uh, last year we didn't put any in and it was actually the biggest bonus we, we ever did, given. Just yes. because we had so much to do. And we did not include that in the budget. We did Correct. it after the fact. Correct. Mm -hmm. So we could do it either or. Correct. Yes. But at this time last year we knew we were going to get a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. we, this, we this had seen that we were, we were up on We're looking years. to right. get about $650,000 less than we got last year and so um well, now, it's it's a significant a different way of saying that we're only going to get about two hundred fifty thousand dollars this year and this is specifically talking growth funds growth funds, growth right. funds. Okay. yes okay and okay. i think that's so, where you know my concern lies is the prospect of it if you don't plan for work plus this year we're adding more expenses that outside of what we plan for them. I like to know that we're planning that as well. 
Repeat that again, Grant. <laughs> Same thing I've been saying is we're spending more, so it looks like, and with our budget where it's at, and with and that's where the other topics of tonight that came up and kind of started pushing towards this is we can sit here and say it would be nice if we're able to, but it's not trending that way with everything we're talking about of down in state funding, down in counts, down in this, up in adding construction <clears throat> costs. It's not trending in a positive light to be able to do that. And I just am wanting to. Well, if we would have done the bare minimum, I want to think about this too. If we'd have just done what our Learns Act said, you'd had a significant amount of money sitting over there that you could pretty much do what you want to, but you guys were proactive in, in the spring to make sure that our employees knew that they, you were going to give them every dime you could afford to give them. And we're one of the very few districts around the state that boards that had that much forethought to do that. And so you got to think about that too. So currently, we are showing a, a million three loss this year. A million of that is what was proposed to go into the building fund, which may change depending on how we do something next. So the most we can carry over is about nine point one million. Huh? Yeah, nine point five. We'll see. Currently, this past year, we had 6.8. We have had 20% before. For probably five of the last 10 years, we had 20% carryover. Okay? Do we need a 20% carryover? Terry might shoot me for saying this. <laughs> probably not. Does it make us feel good? Yeah, because we can handle anything, more or less. Most districts carry less than that. I would say standard, and Terry might disagree, Terry's giving me the bad look. Standard, I would say, is probably 10%. She had a hard time swallowing that, but 10% would be 4.7. We're projected right now to end the year at 5.5. .5. Does that worry me? Not currently. Not current. Next year, if we have another down kindergarten year, we'll be having a different conversation. Okay? So, my job, Terry's job, Terry's job for sure, is to look out and make sure that our district is financially sound. Because the absolute worst thing that can happen to a school district is for them to go in financial distress. Okay? from our standpoint. That's what makes us go to Little Rock. Yeah. So, I am still comfortable even though we're projecting that million three loss in one year because I think we're going to, I think we'll have a good year, I think we're going to grow some kids, I think next year we're going to grow some kids, and I'm hoping that that 311 kids in kindergarten this year is going to be nominally rather than a trend. So, I don't know if that helps you all at all, but I'm not worried right now. I mean, I think it just comes down to where that, the, but the, we're all in agreement so that the 5.5 .5 is just, where's the 1.3 spent? And, mm -hmm. and, I mean, everyone has their different opinions of, what they feel is important, I've said on the facility side of it, is there's always going to be more stuff that we could add and make it better. <clears throat> and I don't want to, I know we've had some parents contact us and different things. I don't want to ever take away from the fact we're building a very nice facility. Mm -hmm. And just because we can't put everything in there that everyone wants, that doesn't diminish the facility that we're building that we don't have right currently that we're renting and 
and these and other facilities with. So then it just boils down to, you know, do do we want to keep polishing that facility or and making it or where we want to spend it? And you know, that's that's just I think what started it in my mind from the very beginning was, you know, here's the same money of what what do we want to do or where do we need to go? And I agree there's benefits to what's in the proposal and how it is. You know, does it all have to come at once? I know that, you know, Shane and I both have talked and I know that you have more likelihood of doing it if you do it all at once, but I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. So, if you all want to I have given you numbers uh, in the in the budget piece of the agenda. At the very bottom, under executive content, I gave you a little Excel spreadsheet that told what a five hundred dollar bonus across the board would be. It's the second spreadsheet down there. It'd be four hundred twenty one thousand dollars. Four hundred twenty two thousand dollars. What was that again? Sorry. Four hundred twenty two thousand dollars is what a five hundred dollar bonus would cost. Okay. For every employee in, in the district, if you all want to do that, that is a number that could either be added on to that and make it 1.7 million mm -hmm. in the hole, and take us down to 500, 5 million 100 thousand carryover. Or if you all in the next agenda item agree to leave some of those things out those kind of wash each other out to some degree. That's kind of what I'm, if I were to make a decision right now, and unless someone has something that blows my mind, um, those items that we're talking about that Grant can't talk about, pull gears, Grant, mm -hmm. 523 grand for those, uh, those five items, four items, and 421 for this. I mean, I'm kind of a big, big number guy I mean I'm I'm seeing those two items and I'm just going kind of makes sense to me and those other things can be done at some point maybe just not this year and then that also keeps our emergency fund a little bit more comfortable for Terry and all of us so, since I've already talked on the subject and they go so hand in hand do I need to leave so these can be probably yes. mm -hmm. fully discussed and yes. voted on, and because because, I'm because well, one has on to be voted on. Or they well, go hand in hand. Yeah, so yeah the, they kind of do. Yeah. So they all can vote on it. The, I mean, to be honest, we need to know what for, us, for, us, for us to vote on the budget. We got to know what's in it mm -hmm. and what's not. Well, so we, maybe we, we should do that first item first. Then. So they were going to have to <laughs> table this one. Table the budget and go back. Go back. Yes, I believe that's probably what we should do. So let me just ask. Well, so we we do that when we vote on the budget. Does Grant is he going to be voting on the budget? If yes. we've got yes. enough yes. here, does he need to vote he on does. the budget? We're all Grant ready. can come back in and vote on the budget. Just as it is, we won't talk details. <laughs> no, he can know what the, what the decision was. Okay. Yeah. Right. All right. All right. So we need a motion to table the the budget. I make a motion. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Okay. So now the budget is tabled, and now we need a motion to bring back the discussion on the baseball, softball, tennis. I so move. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. All right. So now Graham's gone, and we're back. We're back to where we were two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> so let's knock this thing out. A lot of good discussion, though. It, this is important, and and something that, that come to my mind when we were talking about the salaries and the stuff that you mentioned. That what we, you know, we labored many hours on that last year for the salaries and worked through that, which was very, very important. It was important to us. It's important to every every employee in the district so you know that was time well spent and I'm proud of the outcome of that 
this side and on that. So now, and here we are, we're massaging the budget and we're doing the same process again. And, and this is good. This is what we're supposed to be doing. So, so all right, now, so we're back to the, uh, to the add-ons for the baseball. <clears throat> I'd like to make a motion to keep these four items out of the budget. No second. I'm just trying to think okay. how to. Well, because we talked about, I guess it's pretty simple. To, Well, we can have discussion at this point before we second. So explain so explain up. what your hang up is. Um, what would you like to do of these four? What what would be your top priority? Well, we already talked about a possible solution to shading. So I'm hopeful I mean a good plan will come out of that. <clears throat> but I was also thinking through what we talked about some preliminary work while we're in the construction zone now, mm -hmm. time zone now, how that needs to, if, if let's just say I would like to do lighting and the batting cages, the foundation work, so that. Can I, can I remind you of one point? Yes. Is, let's don't lose sight of the fact, and I'm gonna support whatever you guys vote on. Yes. Just to, but I just don't want to lose sight of the fact the city has already voted to give us $135,000 towards those lights. So when you say the lights cost us $300,000, they don't really cost us $300,000 because the city is partnering with us to pay those part of those expenses. Okay. So I don't want that lost. That's well, a lot of money. And if we don't put the lights up, you can build the foundations all you want, but if we don't put the lights up where the city can use them, I don't believe that money would still be there. Is there any deadline on that gift from the city or grant? Well, it's or not a gift. It's a joint. It'd be a joint use agreement. Yeah. Okay. That here's that an idea. Would... Just I mean, put that out. Put it out there. But um, what do we say? The bonus is going to cost four twenty three. These all four of these items are going to be five about a hundred grand more. Five twenty two. Five twenty three. Um, 421 to 523, right? So we had 100, 100 grand. Mm -hmm. So we can do the bonus and we could do $100,000 of these items that are being excluded, excluded that total up to 500. So if we wanted to do some preliminary stuff, we could do $100,000, still keep the money intact and still do the bonus. So if we wanted to set a hundred grand, if we wanted to <clears throat> say we're going to approve, we're not going to keep these items in, but we are going to approve a hundred grand to be spent at Shane's discretion for some preliminary things that will make it easier on us when we do go to phase two. That would give you, you'd be able to work that out with Mammoth. So let's just say that hundred thousand. What if it isn't I, enough? Here's here's from know, a budgeting what, standpoint. Isn't enough to do what though? What if a hundred thousand dollars isn't enough to do the preliminary right. groundwork for that? It's possible it's not. What's, that's where your money. Well, even, that's where the money's at. The yeah. reality of it is on the. Mm -hmm. And I, I would say, I don't give a vote, but I would say if we're going to commit to doing something underground with the thought that we are going to do this we have the money i don't know i don't know what benefit it is to put it off to a later and it might cost us more i don't either and that's why i'm struggling that's with as well I'm yeah. I'm, it's just yeah. like uh, you know I, <laughs> and i haven't um, brought this up and i might get spanked tomorrow <laughs> for saying this maybe tonight I might Maybe but we got two pieces that. of property over there at that, that are CO and CO2 that when we move over there, 
that could be put up for sale. I thought about that last week when I drove by. And I did a mark. I had a market analysis done by a local realtor, and somewhere he thinks that somewhere between three hundred fifty four hundred thousand dollars is not far fetched at all. And we could, and he thinks it take 100, 190 to one hundred twenty days to sell it. So that's not a guarantee. Now that's assuming that the board decides to sell those. Yeah. That's I oh, said it's an option. That's you all's yeah. decision. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's not that. my. I was just providing. It is it. not was, included in this right. budget. Yeah, it's no Here, Here's where I'm at. I want to go ahead and get, I guess, three of these things. Eliminate the shades. Right lights cover and the timing for the lights. We're getting some of money from city, but then I, I also want us then to look at, I don't know how to do this, if it's gonna be something that's gonna come back after budget's been approved, but see what we can do for teachers. Because I don't, I don't know if we're in a spot now to say yes, $500 bonus or 750, I don't know. That's really, the, that's the whole reason that I said I wanted to swap these things around um, because I am struggling with more than one reason you know I, I don't want to lose the city funding that we're going to get I'm not saying we would yeah. but it's possible um, I've also been directly involved with two projects specifically I don't tip of my tongue that we've waited on, on a personal level that I've waited a year or two and it's bit me hard yeah. and I've paid for it for that reason, yeah. so that's fresh in my mind. This, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to do that with with school either. Um, I understand being resourceful. Um, this doesn't change my salary, so I'm just going to say it. <laughs> um, I, I just. I, I think I'm with you there. I, I think that that it's, it's going to be a risk either way, and I'm not so sure the greater risk would be waiting. I I just kind of lean a little bit more toward very thankful that you all had an alternative to the shade structure um, in the scheme of things the timer is pocket change I don't not even really yeah um, so really we're talking about the you know the cover for the bedding cages and the lighting and with the city partnering with us on that I you know I don't know I, I lean that way as well that so I don't know what that does to any sort of bonus. Like if that's something we need to talk about now or just say we can me table personally it. express we, that we table that. We can well, decide not. that we would like or plan on giving a bonus at some point during the year. Yeah. Not necessarily saying this is a holiday bonus, you're going to get it by the 15th of March. Um, but our intention is to provide our staff with a bonus during the year. And maybe that's something I'd like to hear from you guys is, 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 is this bonus that we're looking at here, is this something you'd like to see put in the budget or something you're okay with dealing with like we did last year? I'm, I'm okay with dealing with it like we did last year. Me too. I think, you know, they work for our pleasure and they know the importance of this so they're going to work and make it happen and we can continue pushing i don't think that necessarily has to be <clears throat> and i think you get how did we deal with it last year we came we to you on, with yeah. a proposal <laughs> when in november in november but that was based on the growth, growth funds right it's a little bit different yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The growth funds are already budgeted in here. This Not year. looking good, like you're going to have a bunch of money to come to us. And I mean, at this point, from what you you know, from what it sounds like, I don't think we're going to have a windfall of five hundred grand. But I we don't if, know. I think if honestly, I think if we come to you based on the budget currently, so we we're going to be coming to you asking you to take it out. I don't care what it's moving. Yeah. Whether that's at Christmas or whether that's at yeah, March. I think that's because we're not going to know where we stand in our budget for real until until we get that first May June until we will get our first big deposit of tax dollars in October and, and then we get a little yeah later. and then we'll get yeah. a huge deposit in November and then we don't get much again until April and then we'll get a decent deposit in April and another push in May and that's that's it.
I mean, <clears throat> if I do a house remodel and I upgrade my wife's car and I send my kids to some trip, that's not, I do that all in one year. I don't then go, I'm going to also do this, uh, you know, like at some point you go, I can't do it all this year. At some point I go, we're going to have to save that for next year. So that's how I feel about this. I don't, <laughs> I hate to be stuck on it. And look, I don't have any, I don't have any lack of confidence that uh, our community is going to stand behind us. And I'm not worried that Terry is going to let us go off the rails. I don't worry about that. I just, I'm trying to be mindful of, of this money and make as good a decision as I can. I'm trying to treat it like I would if it was mine. So mm -hmm. that's what I would do. I would, I would pick something that was the lowest priority and I would say, I'll do this next year or the year after. And to me, these items, in my opinion, look like the least time sensitive. But that's just me. So we're back to the, after discussion, we're back to the motion of uh, taking all four items off. Of, uh, oh, we mean no that, Eric, I'm sorry, I don't remember. Off of the, <laughs> out of the budget. Out of the, yeah. out of the, well. My motion was just to leave those four items yeah. off. Um, yeah. Exclude those, yeah. So, it appears to die yep. with not a second. So, now we can entertain another motion. I'll make a motion to vote on the, let's see, or, or just on what items to leave in. To leave in lighting for tennis and batting cages for the project. Cover for the batting cages. Cover. Say that again. So I, I'm I'm making a motion to leave in lighting and batting cages into the budget. Yeah. And the and timer. So, mm -hmm. And the timer. And the timer. Sure. <laughs> you need that. Yeah. Well, it's a line it's item. It's a line item. Okay. Um, so you're only excluding the sunshade. Yes. The shade. Okay. And I'm I'm hoping we find money or uh, just want to make sure we're okay. it's top of the the a bonus for well, teachers. I think that's top. Yeah. 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 Trust me, I'm I want. To I it, want. <laughs> make it work, not just teachers. I was looking for the document here. I apologize, Travis. Can you repeat that? Your motion. Oh. <laughs> motion to leave in lighting for tennis courts, cover for batting cages, timer for lights. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I'm opposed. Okay. I've explained my reasons and I love you guys all okay. dearly. No, that's all right. I don't trust I don't question your judgment, but that's all right. I heard you say I, you don't trust. I can't I can't explain why I disagree and then right. say aye at the end. Sure. So, all yep. all right. Good. Motion carries. So now so, I gotta go get it. So now we can bring Grant back in and we can talk about it. Restroom break? Can I it make a motion be. to make a restroom <laughs> sure. break? We want to take a I'll list. make that motion. Yes. We'll take a time out. Intermission breaks over. So now let's get uh, let's see. We need did we do our motion to bring the budget back? You probably so yeah. uh, did we? no we have we have not okay so we do need a motion to bring i so move okay second all in favor Aye. Aye. opposed all right so now we're back to the 23 24 budget so terry you want to just start over <laughs> uh no <laughs> okay with with the action that you just took without any other changes. <coughs> I'm not suggesting that you do this. I'm, I'm telling you that what I think is possible. No. Um, I think you could vote on the budget as presented with an amendment to deal with, I'm 
trying to figure out how they could do this today mm -hmm. and not have to come have back. Have to come back. Um, they can vote as it stands with the intention of planning or revisiting a bonus in the future. But that one point three million is going to change. It's going to, yeah, it's going to come down sixty six thousand or something. Or we could leave it at a million. I mean, does it make that much of a difference to you all whether we move one million or one million less sixty seven thousand dollars? If it is that big of a deal, we can. I can certainly change that, but we will have to come back, and you'll have to vote again. For any sort of bonus, is that what you're saying? Do what? For any sort of bonus. We're well, not even not talking, talking bonus. Oh, We're oh, talking sorry, about the amount you. transferred oh, the into the building fund. As it stands right now, it's a million dollars. You can either leave it at a million, or you can change that amount if you would like. And, and I didn't hear you, Terry. Change it to what? What would the other? It amount would be, be a million less sixty-seven thousand dollars. Oh. I would say you just leave it in I would too. I would too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you could budget you could vote on the budget as presented then. Mm -hmm. Um Okay. And we could wrap it up tonight. We could vote as as presented and and leave it as is with the intention with the intentions of doing everything possible for a bonus. And revisit at some that point. at a later point. Right, at mm -hmm. some point. At the board's discretion. Or we could motion to amend the budget to put that in there, but then we're going to have to come back at it because you have to redo that. And it touches and then, everything right, in the and budget. And then we yeah. will have to. We will have to. Yes. Have a special board meeting again this November. This Friday, this by week. Friday, right? Or Thursday, Thursday, preferably. Okay. Yes. By Thursday. And it will take me about two days to get that done. To get it in there. So this isn't an active Excel spreadsheet you can just change and pop up right No, yet. no. Okay, <laughs> just about that. No. <laughs> this is, but not the other part. Okay, so my preference is to just adopt the budget as is and then with good faith know. That we are all working toward doing a budget or doing a bonus. I'm sorry. So in that case, we won't need to get back together. Right. Correct. We're good to go. Correct. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with that as well. I make a motion to approve the budget as is. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting adjourned. Aye.